It's finally time for football, and high school football practice started earlier this week, and we're talking with some members of Almogordo Tiger Football. And uh, you can't see it, but they're sitting around a table here with us. Guys, how are you doing this morning? Good? Pretty good. All right. right. Happy to have you here. We'll start over here on the left. Introduce yourself and uh, tell us what position either you know or you think you'll be playing coming up this year. All righty. My name's Dakota LaSalle, and I play middle linebacker and a little bit of running back here and there. Okay. My name is Mark Prather, and I'm an outside linebacker. Okay. My name is Connor Brown, and I play left guard and sometimes defensive tackle. Okay. My name is Riley Cady. I play special teams and a little bit of cornerback. All right. My name is Reese Cady, and I play safety. All right. Very good. Um, well, you know, we'll first start off with uh, how's, how's the first week of practice gone so far, Dakota? I mean, how do you feel like things have gone over the first uh, few days? Um, I think it's gone good. Um, as you know, or as everyone should know, we got a new... Uh, great defensive coach, uh, Mike Filicetti, out of Hobbs, and he's he's kind of taught us to trust his new process and to finally see his new process coming to play and working over the week. It's it's pretty amazing to see that and get to work together as a team through that process. All right. Mark, how about you? How do you feel like your first week of practice has gone? I feel like it's gone good. Tiring. I know we're all <laughs> yeah. dying, oh, yeah. but we've been working through. We've been working hard. I'm really proud of the team. Connor, how about you, man? Yeah, same thing. I mean, the beginning of the week, it was like, everyone was like, I guess summer workout. I mean, not summer workouts, but two days, and then now it's just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a whole different thing going yeah. into the, into the two a days. Gotcha. Uh, Riley, how about you, man? Um, yeah, it's been great. I think everyone's done a really good job of pushing through the heat and the long days and everything, and uh, it's been a struggle, but I think we're doing all right through it. Yeah. Reese, how are you feeling for the first week of practice? Yeah, it's definitely a grind, but <laughs> I think we're all getting better as a team, and should turn out pretty good. Yeah, how is that 100-degree uh, heat in the afternoon? What, what, oh, is, what is it like practicing in that? Oh, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty tough, but uh, we just got to be mentally strong, you know, tough. Just got to make sure we grind and don't make little mistakes. Yeah. Like what, how we practice in the morning is typically better, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah heat. Yeah. No cool. Yeah. But, like, we just need to be tough mentally <laughs> when we get through it. Uh, we have a great athletic trainer named David, and he just – Gives us ten minute breaks when it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Gives us those little Ice breaks. Yep. yep. It's the best time of my life. <laughs> yeah. Reese, how much do you appreciate David stepping in and giving you guys those breaks? Oh, they give us a nice cold washcloth. They give us it's so nice. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. Sitting yeah, down, man. Yeah. 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 Riley, I mean how much do you because I know the athletic staff, this is like their oh, yeah. busiest part of the year. How much they, they help you guys out the Oh yeah, trainers. David and his athletic staff, they they help us so much. They they're always there with water and Gatorade and towels for us and it's such a big help. Yeah. Connor, do you feel like I mean I, I, we always hear, you know, working in that kind of heat gets you ready for the season, helps you out. Do you feel like, you know, some of those early games in the season can be pretty hot out there? Oh, it, yeah. Especially when it gets hot on the turf, your feet are on fire. Like, it's bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, I don't know, it's just getting us ready for that first game. Yeah. Dakota, I mean, working in the heat, I mean, is that something you feel like will pay off later for you guys? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because when, when heat comes into play, you usually start working on your endurance and your mental toughness to, to push through on those, those hot games or when you're, you're pretty dog-tired. Yeah, um, I'm sure you guys had a busy summer. This doesn't have to necessarily be a football thing, but Dakota, I mean, what, what, what was your uh, your favorite thing you did this summer before you head back to school? Oh gosh, there's there's so much. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> so much. But I think I think my favorite part was we we took a family vacation to to Las Vegas. That was that was pretty nice. It was it was. Uh, a couple days to get away. All right, very good. Mark, how about you, man? Um, all I did summer was uh, work and football. <laughs> so my favorite memory was when we went to Roswell and for the seven on seven competition. Oh, Everybody competed, linemen competed, and then we won in the playoffs there. Oh. And we did pretty good. I was proud of us. We were barely learning, but that was probably my best. <laughs> <laughs> very good, <laughs> Connor. How about you, buddy? Um. I think my favorite part is when I flew back to Texas to go see my mom for about three weeks in the beginning of summer, and I just hung out with them and then came back. Got got some family time in. Yeah. All right. How about you, Riley? How about you, man? I think it was just kind of the best part was just taking a break from school because <laughs> last year it was my junior year it was a grind, so I was just kind of taking a break and sitting back and just relaxing. That was probably the best part. Getting prepared for senior year. Oh yeah. All right, so Reese, How about you, man? Yeah, kind of like what Mark and Riley said because all I really did was football and work, so just kind of grinding out there with the guys is really fun. All right. Um, how important, you know, are our summer workouts and the summer stuff that you guys do to get ready for the season? I mean, do you feel like you're as prepared as you've ever been reset into the year? Oh yeah, I'm definitely prepared because you gotta take every rep like it's your last one. You never know when your last play is gonna be, so you gotta grind out there and get your stamina up. Yeah. Well, you know, what do you what do you feel like maybe you are 
better at than, than you have been in any other season going into this year? I'm definitely better at reading now from a safety standpoint because last season I was just not good at it. And after a year of going through it, I feel like I'm a lot better at reading it. Yeah. Riley, how about you? Where do you feel like you're most confident in, in your game? Uh, probably what I've gotten a lot better is, is probably my route running as a wide receiver. I think um, after, I mean, it's my senior year, I've kind of learned how to set up my routes better, how to get open better, how to set up leverages and everything. Okay. Connor, how about you, man? Um, probably pulling whenever we pull and run. I pull and go, like, supposed to block a linebacker or something. I've gotten a lot better at that than I used to be. So, yeah. Getting in the right position where you need yeah. to be. Okay. Going through the gap. Yeah. Mark, how about you, man? Mm, I think I'm getting better at uh, lining up the defensive line where they're supposed to be whenever they have to be. Okay. Let's go to. Yeah, just kind of a, a mixture of what they said. Kind of like the the technique of the game and almost the maturity of like the mindset when you're on the field kind of feels a little different like we're seniors now we've, we've got a little experience under our belt and uh reads are a little more crisp hits are a little harder and it just kind of seems to fit all together now yeah now all, all you guys were on the team when it was sophomores three years ago in the first year under yes, sir. most of you connor wasn't but a lot of you guys have so Talk about the difference between them. You guys got 25 seniors, I think, this year or something around that yeah, number. Yeah, 25 um, to 30. Dakota, talk about the difference of you know the last two seasons and leading into this year and, and how much more confidence this group has as a whole. Uh, first year when Coach Cisco showed up, it was a little rough because he came in a little late to our, our little show. And so it was, it was hard to catch up. It was hard to learn his new system. And we got that year out of the way with as many seniors as we had and as many people as we lost. We, we persevered through the first season. Second season, we saw progress a little better. Here and there, we got a win under our belt, yeah. which kind of put us all on another level of, like, we can do this. Like, we have a chance. And this season, with as many seniors as we have and the maturity on the field, mentally and physically, I, I think we're going to have a pretty good turnout. Yeah. Along with our schedule, I think it's going to be a good seri uh, season. Yeah, Mark, I would think the expectations are up a little bit for you guys, too. You feel like, you know, you should go out there and win some football games this year. Yeah, I feel like everyone's like, oh, you're, what, you're going to win two games this year. No, I feel like we're going to win a lot more than that. Um, think about it. Sophomore year, most of us were starting, and look at us. We're yeah, yeah. 15 years old going against grown men. No one cut us slack, but we didn't want it. You know what I'm saying? We're ready to prove everyone wrong here. We're going to win games. So, Connor, this is your second year with Tiger football? This is my first this year. This is your first year with yeah, Tiger football. Okay. Um, so, you know, stepping into this, you're seeing this group. Obviously, there's a lot of guys that have played together. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, your perspective going in and playing with, with this group of guys. I mean, when I first moved here, I would watch film from last year, and it, was, it wasn't was good. But, like, as I've been here, I've seen that, like, we've gotten a lot better, yeah. and we're definitely going to have a better season than last year. All right. Riley, I mean, how do you feel like the progression of the team to, you know, where you guys are at this point, where you feel like you should expect to go out there and win football games? Oh, yeah. I feel like a lot of my sophomore classmates, like Reese, Dakota, and Mark, they've really grown as players, defensive side of the ball, like a lot. And it's it's been great seeing them and a lot of other guys in our class, too, just going up with these years with them and seeing them grow as football players. It's really amazing. Reese, I mean, how about you, man, where you look at where this team has, has found its way to over the last couple of seasons? Yeah, we're finally starting to know our roles and fit into this system how it's supposed to be and we all know our jobs we're all physically capable of performing our jobs so i think we should have a good turnout this year all right um we talked about the summer and some of the things going on all you guys took part in the in the liftathon earlier this summer yes sir mm -hmm. yeah. uh so were you happy with the, the the weight that you put up reese no no <laughs> it was a little hot out there this that's going to be my only little complaint there but <laughs> we had to put towels over the bars so we could get our hands oh, on yeah. those things but, like, yeah, I was a little disappointed with how much I ended up putting up, but I still tried my best. So, okay. Riley, how about you? I mean, where, do you feel like you, you did good? It was just too hard to get the grip on the, on the bar. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, with the towel, it was a little challenging. And I had missed a couple workouts um, the week before, so obviously I didn't get the weight I wanted to, but I feel like I did what I had, what I could have, and it was all right. Yeah. Connor, I mean, is your first experience that, that whole uh, – is that kind of a fun experience to, to grow the team? I mean, yeah, it was fun, but – I could have done more weight. Yeah. <laughs> I get the feeling everybody marks the same thing for you. Feel like you could have done better. Yeah, I feel like I could have done more weight, but uh, I felt pretty happy. A lot of people came to support us. You know, everybody was doing pretty good weight. You know, we could all do better, but it improved a lot more than from last year. Yeah, if it had been the weight room, it would have been a little bit easier for you guys out yeah. there. So, Dakota, how about you, man? Uh, I actually wasn't there. I okay, was, I, yeah, I was out of town. Okay. But, um, with that. Um, 
you'll never get enough weight. Yeah. Like playing football, you'll never get enough weight. But to see like these guys progress in the weights they did get, it's it's unbelievable how much how many jumps that we've made um, within our program. Yeah. Uh, you guys get to scrimmage coming up on Friday, uh, black and gold scrimmage, intra squad. Uh, you guys will get to play another team next Thursday when you guys go over to uh, to Gaston and play uh, Gaston and, and uh, Hatch coming up next week. Go to what's your favorite part of getting out there and actually scrimmaging for the first time? I know you guys have been in you know pads and you know helmets sure. and shells and stuff like that, but to actually kind of play like it's real game, are you excited to get that going? Oh yeah, definitely excited to see a different color jersey. Yeah. Definitely excited to see a different color jersey for once. But um, once you get a different set of kids in there, it's a different type of competition. It's like it's game on now. Like um, it, it just puts you in situations that y- you can't predict because it's a whole nother team, whole nother uh, system that you got to adapt to, and it's it, it's pretty nice. It's exciting. Yeah, Mark. I mean, the intra squad scrimmage is fun, but getting next week is that the one you guys really? Yeah, next on? week is what we're really looking forward to. I mean, tomorrow it's gonna be you know fun day. Gonna you know get used to hitting. All the way down, you know, wrapping up. But next week, we're definitely ready to play Hatch and Gadsden. Connor, I mean, getting that first opportunity to see not your teammates across the way, is that a, is that oh, a big deal for oh, you? Yeah, getting to play another team that's not my teammates is pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Riley, how about you, man? Are you excited about uh, tomorrow and also coming up next week? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, when you're practicing against the same guys every day, you kind of know what's coming and you know how everyone works as a football player. And seeing new faces, you get to learn it all over again. It's just a new, fun experience. Reese, I mean, what's your favorite part of finally getting the pads on? Is it is it finally getting some actual contact out Man, there? I'm ready to hit some people. <laughs> I'm ready for tomorrow. And it's like Riley said, when we finally get these different matchups that we can learn from and progress from, it's, it's going to be fun. All right. Well, you guys are all seniors. You know, it's uh, an opportunity to get out there and do your best in, in your last year in high school. What's what? What are your goals? What are your expectations for this year, Reese? I mean, what what are you? Uh, is there you know certain? Is it a team goals, personal goals, both? I mean, what, what do you look at going into the season? Man, I have team goals. We're going all the way this year. All right, that's my goal. Yeah, that's what you're shooting for. You're looking for that blue trophy every year. Here. All right. Riley, how about you, man? Yeah, like Reese said, we're on that blue. That's what we're – even now we're talking about it. We don't want two, three wins. We want we want the state. Okay. Connor, I mean, what are you looking forward to going into the season? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to go all the way too. And um, I don't know, I just want to be like the best like, lineman that I've ever been. And I just really think our O-line, we need to be really good this year to be able to win, actually. Okay. Mark? My you? goal is to uh, make sure I don't take any plays off because, you know, you know, you never know when it's gonna be your last play. Last year, I thought it was over for me when I hurt my neck. But, you know, here I'm, I'm back, and I'm not gonna take anything for granted. So, I want us to win district, be one of the top teams in the state, and we're gonna dance in the playoffs, and we're gonna hold that blue trophy at the end. All right, Dakota, how about you, man? What, what uh, has you looking forward most of the season? Uh, wins is definitely the main goal. Wins is the main goal. But just seeing us come together as a team and kind of bond a, a little better is a pretty big goal and to kind of just trust each other in each other's positions and start working on that that personal performance that builds into the big team performance i think that's a, a major goal that our team needs to have and i think it, it's a goal that is something you guys very well manage. capable of achieving yep. we all gonna have the same mindset Okay, that's what we like to hear. Well, uh, schedule coming up on Friday, uh, which is uh, coming up on the 9th. Uh, that'll be the intra-squad scrimmage, 6 p.m. Everybody can go out to Tiger Stadium and watch these guys. Uh, next Thursday, their scrimmages against Gaston and Hatch are on the road, but I'm sure you all would love if some folks made the trip and watched yeah. you guys in the yep. scrimmage coming up on Thursday. Uh, next Friday night is uh, the Friday Night Lights meet and greets. Uh, you're going to have Tiger football. Uh, they'll have cheerleaders. They'll have the athletic trainers, and I'm sure a lot of other folks will come on out. It's a great community event and then i'm sure you guys have it all circled on your calendar the 23rd of august first game of the season against valencia so we'll look forward to it guys appreciate your time and uh best of luck this season okay thank you thank you man thank you all right